how big is it when you go on location, your mob go on location? It's, it's huge. I mean, we've, we've also got like two or three units at the same time. So two, like usually an independent film or just a film crew, you've got one film crew. Yeah. We've got three at any one time shooting different stories. Right. And so because my... How big is the unit? Oh God, it's like 300 people. And loads of vehicles. All loads the of vehicles. Loads of vehicles, <laughs> loads of kit, loads of... Ca- like each unit has at least like five or six cameras. Right. It's it is it's ginormous, and because we've we've been on it for so long now, right. it, it feels really normal. <laughs> it feels really normal. It's not, and they've got these huge sets that have been built. The castle that I reside in the most is completely is completely <laughs> ca- my castle. I go to Watford and I go and live in a castle for seven months. Is it? Does it actually feel at any point like you live in a castle? Yeah, it's huge. Does it honestly? It's practical. It's completely practical. You walk. Sorry, you walk into the courtyard. You walk up the stairs. You walk into all the different rooms. Yeah. Go, and then you go down different like tunnels, different secret passageways. Right. It's in. You could do a one shot all the way around the castle. Cold? Is it cold? Castles um, are cold, aren't they? It is quite cold. It gets, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Winter's winter's cold. Summer is hot. What else do you talk about in these kind of interviews where you're not allowed to talk about the thing itself? <laughs> Broad general <laughs> themes. What you know? Is was there any funny things that happened? Yeah, yeah. That, you know, we. I have a lot of my stuff with Reese Evans. Do you know Reese? I know Reese really well. Yeah. And you know, we've had a know, few well, LA times together. Well, yeah, you know Reese. And yeah. so I mean, he's one of my dearest pals now. How good is he, by the way? He's brilliant. He's brilliant and he's naughty. Yeah. He's the naughtiest he's man. He's another guy born out of his time. Yes. He and Matt should have been born in, the, not born in the 60s, they should have been born in the 40s and 50s to, and live in the 60s and 70s. I mean, they sort of do in their yeah, own way. Yeah, they do. And they're great pals as well. But are they actually? Yeah, yeah, they are. And, they've and they're done both really co- tall. They're both really tall and both really gorgeous as well yeah, and they wear clothes really well. They've got really strong noses. Yes. Roman noses. Yes. And they've got great hair. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'll get Reese and Matt to listen to this afterwards. Yeah, no, <laughs> they'll well, feel really good about themselves. Yeah, I've been out with both of them separately, but never both of them together. And that I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Oh God, I mean, I think there'd be a, I don't know, the, the butterfly effect, something mad. Any happen. afters? Any afters action? Any fun? Yeah, I yeah. Mean, we all we all love a party. Do you? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> what a laugh! What a it laugh! It is a laugh, and we're all just good mates as How well. How long is it, have the has the gang been together for this? Since twenty twenty one. Three years. It's yeah. three years, isn't it? Yeah. Because Matt came on the show because we were sponsored by Sky at the time. So it was a the big first time deal. round, yeah, first yeah. time round, and we did House of the Dragon the first time we watched it, and we 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 all instant it and things like that. What is the social action like? The social uh, media action like around this program? Social media, yeah. Is it big? Um, yeah, yeah. I think where, like, where is it? Is, I think the Twitter's biggest? quite noisy, right. or X. Oh yeah, because it's one of the, it's one of those things where you double screen, and double screening is encouraged, not discouraged with this, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because you're having the commentary while you're having the yeah, you're having the water cooler moment in real time on right. on, on on Twitter. So yeah, I think that's quite noisy. Is it and big. big on Insta or TikTok? Or, is, it, is it me? Is it memeable? I think it's quite mem- memeable. I mean, I I tend to throw my phone into you know a the river. nearest river. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when when it comes out. Um, but I'm, I'm not a TikToker. Are you a TikToker? No, God, no. Are you a TikToker? The, no, the gang behind no. the glass art. They had some fun with it earlier. <laughs> That's uh, loads of fun today. You get loads of fun today. Apparently, there's this thing going around on TikTok where you say, uh, where it says, "Once a boy told me blah, so I blarred." Right, so it's basically a boy or a girl that you fancy. Okay. So, for example, somebody's once a boy told me he didn't like flowers, so I, and then this girl posted a video of herself throwing a bunch of flowers, one flower at a time, into a lake, saying flowers are so overrated, hoping that he'd see it and fall in love with her. Things like that. God bless. That's the big thing. The yes. other big thing today is um, that there's a a woman who is the, a massive Ed Sheeran fan. Oh wait, yes, yes. I heard about this. Go on. That she she loved Ed Sheeran, so, so she much. married a lookalike. She married a lookalike. That's bizarre. Yesterday, and he really, really does look like Ed Sheeran. Okay. I mean, Ed Sheeran's, got, not di- visuals. Ed Sheeran's not difficult to look like, but he really does look like him. And that's the sole reason she married him. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter why people get together. You know, I met my wife on a golf course, but we were hopelessly in love, hopefully now and forever. Wow, he really does look like him. Yeah, so then, then the team... Mostly, I have to say, the ladies on the production team started talking about which lookalike they would marry if they were to marry one. Who did you say? Well, that, first of all, Ozzy Jane said, anybody dead just to weird people out. Top oh. of the list, John Lennon's Circa Sergeant Pepper or Elvis Presley's Circa Hawaii, um, Blue Hawaii. But as they looked like when they were living and not as a corpse. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe she's, I don't know, Jane's quite out there. She could go either way, depending <laughs> on the time of year. Uh, Tilly went for Ryan Reynolds, but then she realised... 
um, it was just she, actual Ryan Reynolds. So right, okay, sure. I sure. went for Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, I mean, both very good-looking boys. You'd be quite happy. No, I just you? wanted the I wanted the I wanted the spoon the spooning action with Hemsworth because oh. I would feel so safe. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> There's um not to bring it back to the show, but I remember saying Please I was I was, so, I was I was de- I was delirious in press of the day, and in the in the Game of Thrones world, there's these like wolves that are called dire wolves. Yeah, yeah. Seen that hu- yeah huge, yeah. humongous. Yeah. And I was just I was so tired. And I was just like, oh god, I'd love to be spooned by a dire wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be spooned by rather imagine? than a dragon. You know, because there's hot breath on the back of the neck, desired <laughs> or not. But dragons take it to another level. Yeah. That's us. This, I mean, this is so massive, this. I remember, you know, especially with the first series, and I also couldn't get into the link with the second series because of all that. But how big is this? Because you've been in big stuff, you know, Bates Motel and Slow Horses and the films Meal and the Diger. How big is this compared to that stuff? It's huge. And also we're, like, we're jumping off from an already established fan base. Yeah, yeah. And, and By the pressure's really on there. Popular could, book, yeah. It could go either way, couldn't it? It could have gone either yeah. way. Like, And we were really worried and nervous and yeah, scared yeah. And, and the pressure felt really intense. But luckily, you know, after season one, people did really like it. Um, and then coming back for season two, I think there's been we've had two years, and like we, we're lucky that there's still the excitement yeah. and there's still this like engine Ep- for more appetite. appetite. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I think if I thought too much about how many people actually watch the show, I think I'd have a bit of an existential and then, crisis. Because it's Netflix, it goes up and up. Sorry, HBO, because it goes up and up and up and up, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it's not a one hit, like, you know, 5.6 million people watched the last series. It just goes on and on. Yeah. How many, is it in the hundreds of millions now? It must be, must not it? I've, I heard 40 million. 40 million. Yeah. All right. But it's headed, I mean, it will get there in the end, yeah. won't it, I suppose. Yeah. And was the love for House of the Dragon instant after Game of Thrones obviously the jury was out mm. double edged sword could have gone either way as yes. we just said was it instant or was there a, was there a little um, sort of uh, uh, what's the transition moment for fans yes um, I think so I, I, I mean I think after you know 10 years of Game of Thrones people were a bit like why yeah yeah why now yeah yeah but you know there's so much story to continue to tell within the you know George R. R. Martin's world yeah, and his yeah. universe so I mean this felt it was just a really brilliant story and it, yeah. it felt like it needed to be oh. told and prequels genius isn't it let's go let's not go forward let's go backwards yeah we think that's what's going to happen with Bond do you have a theory about Bond? Do you think we he's going to go well he's going to go back and he hung a horn yeah hung a, I don't know if you've seen the last film but doesn't end well oh god of course he's dead <laughs> No so time to die. I think there might be. I think there might be. I think there might actually be a time to die. Set your watches by this one. Yeah, maybe. They're, they're going to go back into, like, yeah. Goldfinger. How time. much does being on this show um, impinge on the the other opportunities in your career? What is the buyout? Obviously, they have first call, I would imagine. I don't know any of this, but I'm just guessing. It's been all right, you know. They've got, yeah, first... They they, they have first... Yeah, first call. Is on your every waking hour? no. No. <laughs> no. So just, no. No, they don't. No. Uh, so just when so just when we we're, we're filming for that time and then I do have to politely ask them when I get an offer. Um, excuse me, can I go right. and work for Amazon? You and know? does it does it help with office or I think it's helped. Yeah, good. I think it's good. yeah, I think it's helped. I mean you. it's it's big, isn't it? So like, you know, in the in a business sense that sort of raises your profile. Like, and where are you based now? London. Still. Yeah. Still here. Yeah. Okay, you're from Oldham. Fantastic. I am, yes. I once did a documentary on Oldham. Did you? Yes, I did actually. What did you discover? I discovered that well I'll give you, so who is the most um I don't know, justifiably famous, that's not even the right phrase. Who is who is one of the most famous women to ever come out of Oldham? Um the suffragette and uh Kenny uh Annie Kenny? No. I was going to say Louise Brown. Oh, who's that? The first ever test tube baby. Oh, wow. She was from Oldham. Wow. Um, famous world leader to be born in Old. No, famous world leader to be an Oldham MP. I don't know. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. I think he was your MP. God, that's well, he wasn't my should, documentary anyway. That. No, no, you're, 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 you probably have you know a better... And, and Oldham has the biggest open air dot, dot, dot in the world. Stadium. <laughs> no. Rhymes with um, Patricia Arquette. Arquette. Oh, Market. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Older Market. There you go. Oh, in the... In the world. 
According to my documentary. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I don't know about it either, but according <laughs> to my documentary, it definitely does. When did you do the documentary? About 100 years ago. Okay, fantastic. Maybe then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, live from the market. Uh, Olivia, it's great to see you. Um, is there anything you. else you'd want to say? Because you bothered to come in. We're really grateful that you came here. No, but please, thank We're you for so, having me. We're so, so grateful. Anything else you'd like to say about uh, this amazing oh, show? It comes out um, on Sky on Monday. Monday 17th of Monday June. 17th, yeah. Episodes release weekly. You have to wait for them. Virgin Radio.